Hey everybody, welcome back to Live Free and Tool On. I've got a lot of questions, especially about the towable backhoe behind me. I got it from Harbor Freight, and I got it for a really good deal. Typically, I think it's right around $3,200, but I was able to get a 20% off coupon, which works out great because I use the Coyote, or Coyote CS2210 as my tractor, and the attachment, the bucket attachment for that is like $7,000. Something I definitely can afford, especially with uh, six kids, so that was out of the question. So this seemed to be a really, really good alternative, especially if you get the credit card. You can also use 10% off your first purchase, so if that's something you're looking for, that's the way to do it. So with all the questions that I've got about the backhoe, today I'm going to be going over how I hitch it up, how I tow it, its operation, its setup. And I'm not going to make this a huge lengthy video, but maybe just something that highlights how it's hitched, how I store it, and then how it's used, and then how I put it back in. Uh, currently, I'm in my barn. It has two bays, one small bay and one typical vehicle-sized bay. The regular vehicle-sized bay, I keep my tractor in that bay. And then over in the smaller bay, I have to uh, kitty corner it to get it in. But that's where I keep the backhoe over there. So it takes a little bit of maneuvering for me to get in and out but it's much better than leaving at the elements or even putting a tarp in it over out in the elements. I never keep my lawnmowers or power equipment in the elements just because I want it to last as long as possible. So let's go ahead and get into it. First, let's check out what I use for a and hitch. So on the back of the tractor, I have a tri-point hitch receiver, which also has a D hook onto it, so it's great if you just want to pull things. But if you go down to the bottom right here, I actually use a tri-ball uh, hitch. So uh, what that does, I have an inch and seven eighths, two and five sixteenths, and then a uh, two inch ball here. And this is great, especially around the farm when you have different attachments. You can just rotate this and it works out great. I also keep, uh, keep one in my truck. And uh, this was only $30 at Harbor Freight, so it's a really great deal. Okay, as you can see, this is where I keep the tractor here. That's where I keep the backhoe.
everybody, so that's it. Super simple. You hook it up to the tractor, you back it in, you know, you, you pull it out. You're able to shift it and you're able to manipulate it with your hands so it's not excessively heavy and it's well balanced on the front axle so you're able to maneuver it. I would say this. I'm a very utilitarian person and I think the best value that you can get is this machine and pairing it up with a tractor that has a front loader. Like I said before, the backhoes that are attached to the tractors are so ridiculously expensive that you can get this self-contained system, pull it to somewhere where you can do the work, let someone work on this while another person works on the tractor, um, and then plus the value that you get out of this, whether it's just north of 3k, is that the, mo the more work you get per dollar, which that's how I equate value, this is the best that I've seen on the market so far. It's made out of quality steel. I haven't had any issues out of it. Now, as you can see, I'm not fluent with the controls yet. I'm still working on it, but it's worked with just a small amount of projects that I've done so far, which have been tiny. Um, I haven't went full depth, and I haven't done a full review on this either. So that's something to consider, is just how much work that this can do, you know, for what it is, I'll do a full in-depth review at some point, but right now just a quick overview, how we hook it up, how we work with it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe. We're going to see you in the next video. Take care.